3,000 U.S. troops head to the region. 3,000 U.S. military personnel. Compare that to Iraq. There are 1,600 U.S. military troops in Iraq right now. We're talking about 3,000 troops. The true goal of this project is power, complete and total hegemonic domination. At the request of the Liberian government, we're going to establish a military command center in Liberia under the pretext of humanitarian aid and dominate and occupy Africa through AFRICOM. The security firm Halo Corp announced it will conduct a zombie apocalypse training exercise. <coughs> Al Faraji will join about 40 other ghoulish friends in the third world village where they'll bring on the apocalypse. Strategic operations has trained in some 600,000 military and law enforcement members using this technique. We got down to a, a science, if you will. If there is such a thing, it's an art. This is a government made virus designed, manufactured to put us out of our misery. They euthanized us. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Now uh, that's back from high school algebra, but let's, let's take a look. Attention. Due to the extremity of the simian flu crisis, all regular government functions have been suspended indefinitely. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We have a global elite who in every publication, eco-science, the list goes on and on, current White House science czar, all they talk about is releasing mega bioweapons to reduce our numbers. And now they're leaving the borders wide open, letting aircraft fly in from infected countries and not even cleaning up from people that have Ebola. It's here. And I'm sure we'll do nothing knowing us. Go abort some more babies and uh, watch some more Sports Center, folks. It's what you want. It's what you get. And when a Khorasan or ISIS hits us, they'll take more of our rights as well, even though they publicly fund them. Because after all, those babies weren't humans, and now they say kill old people. They're not humans either. And you're not a human, and your bank account isn't yours. And doesn't matter. The trendies ACLs here in Austin right now. You hear the rock bands and act cool. That's what really matters. You can see how the people of the West are just like ready to be slaughtered, just begging for it, begging the New World Order to crush them, and the New World Order will oblige you. They'll give you everything you ever wanted. You act like sheep to wolves, they'll tear your guts out. Let's go to Bill in Iowa, then Alex. Bill, you're on the air. Go ahead. Thank you for holding. Alex, I just got two quick points. Uh, first, uh, when uh, Mr. Duncan was um, uh, sent home after two days, uh, the first time, uh, primarily it was because he had no insurance. Nobody in the media has reported that. That's what hospitals do. If you have no insurance and you go in with the flu, they will send you home. Or well, well that's right. Before Obamacare, they would take care of you, but now Obamacare lets them refuse care. They've gotten rid of the Hippocratic Oath. Absolutely, yeah. And secondly, uh, when the influenza A virus kicks in here in a couple months, we're going to see an outbreak of uh, Ebola because it will be airborne. Well, a lot of doctors I've had on, medical doctors, have said it could mutate with all of these new vaccines they're giving people and with all the different flu bugs out there. Uh, they say that'll cause it to mutate. Um, you, you say on the screen you're an EMT. Are you going to uh, – uh, it says EMT quitting in two weeks. Is that accurate? Right. Well, uh, the hospital I work for doesn't even want to provide us with biosuits or have really no plan on, on providing us with biosuits. Well, a biosuit would be and racist, you know, sir. You uh, need to get Ebola. That proves you're loving. Well, you know, if you respond to a call and somebody's in a car crash and there's blood flying all over the place, they, you know, it, you don't have to have symptoms to still get Ebola. I mean, the guy, you can't profile Ebola, so once the outbreak starts, uh, you know, you're not going to know. So every call, you're going to have to be on a, uh, be wearing a bio suit or uh, you're going to you get exposed. Well, even if a few hundred people get it, it's going to cause hysteria and panic. And... I just think Obama's done a great job and we should all get Ebola. And I agree that babies aren't babies and two plus two equals whatever they say. Isn't that just easier? Just to wear different color socks, act trendy, and, uh, you know, support banning freedom. I mean, it, isn't that good? I mean, come on. The president is a Peace Prize winner. He funded Al-Qaeda. I'm being sarcastic now here. All right. Thank you, sir. Alex. Donna, Tom, Eric, and others, your calls are coming up. Joe Biggs, who was up in Dallas covering Ebola. 
going to keep back from him with a mask. I'm joking. He's going to be in studio with us coming up. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.com. Big Brother loves you. Never forget that. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. Silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at Silverlungs.com. That's Silverlungs.com. Nanoparasites turned viruses infect the iron poison population, for they require a host with iron to replicate. Parasites are propagated via the food and water supply and through vaccinations. Those born after 1945 have the vaccine parasites set to activate now. Due to unprecedented iron intake, officials prepare for pandemics because they know the vaccine parasites are activating on a mass scale. This is the extermination plan, people. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. That's U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Americans, prepare for financial ruin. That is what one of the world's richest men, Donald Trump, said just a few weeks ago. What are you doing to prepare? The problems that caused the last financial crisis were never fixed. In fact, they're even worse now. The total amount of debt in the U.S. has grown by more than 57% since September 2008. The two big-to-fail banks are much larger, and the massive derivatives bubble is spiraling so far out of control that the only thing left to do is watch the spectacular crash landing that is inevitably coming. If you're a baby boomer with retirement funds, it's time you consider exiting the Wall Street Casino and start a cash-flowing international business of your own. There may be ways to preserve your wealth, but history has shown that few things can grow your wealth like having your own business. The crash is coming. Take measures now to soften the landing. Go to BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. DNA Force. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. DNA Force. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies. DNA Force. We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force. Tell folks how you got introduced to Super Male, and then when Super Female came out, tell us what happened. After I saw such a huge positive change in my husband, I had to try it for myself. Talk about the effects. I feel great when I wake up in the morning. I have drive to go to the gym. I feel like I look better. I feel better. I feel sexier. I love it. Even if you don't believe in supplements, take the challenge. Get a bottle of Super Male, a bottle of Super Female. Check it out for yourself. Consult your physician. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. This is life-changing. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. The feds are trying to ban your right to own body armor. It is crucial to purchase your body armor before it is too late and another one of your rights are taken away. KD Armor has the most affordable level 3 armor on the market today. KD Armor withstands up to 7.62 NATO rounds. Don't have your own body armor yet? Hurry before it's too late. Order yours at KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I Armor.com. Come and take it. Get some. Independence reporting, lab-grown penises developed by scientists and now ready for human test. That's the type of amazing stuff they can get where they can grow hearts, lungs, you name it. So much potential out there, but also so much potential for mischief in governments and corporations souping up these pathogens like Ebola, which we know our government and other governments have been messing with for more than 30 years. Alex in Wisconsin, thanks for calling, thanks for holding. You're on the air worldwide. 
What's up, Alex? Uh, I've worked in mold asbestos remediation and bio cleanup for over 20 years, similar to the uh, cleanup guy seen on CNN cleaning that uh, Ebola victim's apartment. Yes. And I just got to say, I've used more precautionary methods whilst painting moldy attics than I've seen with this Ebola scare. I mean, they were using blue painter's tape to seal the seams on the, their biohazard suits, which leads me to believe that this is either a fake slash false flag or the 0.01% state wants this to spread. Break down why you say that. Why I say that they're um, not using precautionary methods or why I think... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, as an expert, what you saw. Well, you know, when we put on the biohazard suits um, and the suits in general, either the Tyvek suits or the plastic sealing suits, uh, every seam, the ankles, the wrists, around the face, uh, everywhere it connects to other parts of the biohazard suit. We use a special type of chemical biohazard tape and seal it up. It also comes in every uh, federal grade biohazard suit, like chemical tape, similar to duct tape. And um, they weren't using that. They uh, were wearing their normal, normal shoes walking around. And, you know, it's a fine particulate. Uh, viruses and molds and asbestos, you know, and it can get everywhere. And you try not to make it spread, and it seems like, you know, they were just kind of making a scene, making the show that they were kind of cleaning up, but not really doing the due diligence on what is, you know, the standards in this industry. Well, that's what the other hazmat people have been saying when they call in. I've read the manuals. That's what they say. This whole thing stinks to high heaven and may just be a simulant. Ebola might not even be in the U.S. other than these patients being flown over here. Who knows if that's even true? When you're dealing with liars of this magnitude, you really don't know what the truth is. Thank you so much for the call. But days before that, they had the apartment workers cleaning up the vomit. So it just shows a total breakdown of the government bureaucracy. Either way you slice it, it's just total incompetence or total evil. But even an incompetent government could do what everybody else did to shut down these flights. Donna in New York, thanks for holding her on the air. I was watching Morning Joe on September 30th, and Rick Perry was on. He was talking about how he had just met with Henry Kissinger prepping for the 2016 presidential election. Fast forward literally a few hours that same day, Ebola's in Texas. Then yesterday, the AP headline, Ebola case gives Perry real-time leadership test. I know there's a lot of facets to a false flag, but this is one. They're testing to see if people will back Perry so he can be the next puppet. Do not trust Rick Perry at all. Well, Rick Perry did work with the big vaccine makers for bio-tyranny when he said it's the law with Merck. You've got to take Gardasil, HPV shot, and there was no law. It was all a giant hoax. And then he went to Bilderberg, and um, the Republicans I know said that they thought he'd be the front runner. Uh, in 2012, uh, but he, he didn't make it because of back surgery and he was drugged up on TV and bumbled around a little bit. But um, I know Rick Perry is a front runner right now uh, with the insiders. I mean, Rand Paul's the front runner with, with Republican and Libertarian voters. And I know he's just a great guy, especially compared to Rick Perry. But uh, I was keeping Perry out of this when they were politically going after him, saying, you better do a good job with Ebola. But, but, but now he won't ask Obama to seal, seal the borders uh, or to stop the flights. He's saying, well, check people at the border and maybe check people when they get off the plane. So that's better than nothing. But, but why do you have to get called out by Governor Jindal before he did that? That's a big question. I think some of it is, remember when um, even you were backing him with the indictment, they did that on purpose. They did that indictment. So then people who even criticized him, you're like, eh, you know, poor Rick Perry. Oh, they're going after him. So I think they were trying to make him sympathetic to people who normally would be right against him. So they were using that, too. But just to get back to the Gardasil, in New York State, there's all kinds of commercials for Gardasil now. Oh, yeah. And they literally say it cures, I mean, it stops cancer. Even though the insert says it doesn't protect you, doesn't cover the papilloma, one of the rarest cancers out there, huge problems. They won't tell you it kills people all over the world, that it's banned in India and Japan. We're a dumping ground for everything here. Amazing. We'll speak out against it. Warn young girls in your area.
Where are the feminists when you need them? We'll be back with Joe Beggs, your We're calls. We're on the march. And